we are. Hey everybody, this is Joyce Not Spring Chick Chow. As you notice, we have this Christmas tree skirt, which means we're getting ready to go ahead and do, oh yeah, Christmas is 2012. The date is when we're scheduled for Thursday, November 17th, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we're going to hit all those time zones. I am so excited. Oh, wait a minute. We do have other things going on. Like, oh yes, the stock market, the president, and... Oh yes, the president now thinks he has a mandate because he was re-elected. So what does that mean to you? Well, you're going to have to wait because Old Cam is coming on and we're going to bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, the president of the United States this morning, and he had Bill O'Reilly go, oh my god. He didn't move to the center speech when he, he basically gave the Republicans this my way of the highway because I got a mandate. Uh, uh, Herbie, Herbie said he barely beat an amoeba in the election, mm -hmm. and that's a mandate. That you're going, but they're demanding, the people of this nation are demanding that you raise taxes, not the people that elected the Republicans aren't, and the Republicans gained seats in the House. They didn't, they didn't, they actually didn't lose any seats in the Senate. They had people that voted, okay, here, wait. The people that voted for Obama to spend money are now independents. Mm -hmm. So that's, they didn't actually lose anything. They just lost a bunch of turncoats. And if this administration had been there on Pearl Harbor Day, you would have never known there had been an attack. Oh, I said that. Even the Democrats are admitting they don't understand. Uh, Obama got the guy that made uh, the Justice Department sentenced the person that did the video to an extra year in jail for causing the deaths of the four people. They said specifically for, for being the catalyst that caused the deaths of four, four good Americans. And it had nothing to do with it. Nobody saw the video before the Obama people made a big deal out of it. And now they're blaming it on, they're still blaming it on something when their own documents show that they, they knew it did nothing. And star Silicon Valley analyst fell by Facebook IPO fallout. Oh well, yeah, because what happened was they all recommended that you buy all of this stuff and then it turned out it was a disaster. I mean, Facebook has not recovered and never will recover because Facebook was a hollow company to begin with. It doesn't work well with mobile devices. It's meant for a, meant for itself, it's meant for a, a computer. And what's wrong with computers? I happen to have a computer that's bigger than any cruddy thing that you can buy out there uh, on, the, uh, on the tablet market, and it's smaller. And L.A. porn actors have higher sexually transmitted disease rates. Yeah, they passed that law, and guess what? The immediate result was the passing what of happened? the law. They are going to pull up the entire $10, million, $10 billion a year industry and move to Nevada. What? Yeah, brilliance. I mean, oh. they said that this is not going to Wait work. Wait a minute, what were they trying to do? Oh, you're going to have to wear condoms for all sex scenes, and you have to have a work permit to do your X-rated movies, which nobody's going to go get. And you have to, they put a whole series of... Like they want to go get a work permit to do an X-rated movie? To, you have to get a work permit to make X-rated movies now, and it's never going to happen. They said, well, they said, well, they wouldn't dare move out of the valley because it's a... They, well, they'll move over to Las Vegas where they don't care, and basically that they take $10 billion out of the California economy and fly. They're, they're welcome with open arms where there are no such legislation in, in Nevada. Mm -hmm. And and actually, the well, it's supposedly lower cost of production. Lower cost of production in Nevada. They can oh, they, they, they and there's a lot of showgirls there. Yeah, well, they get a lot of they get they get a lot of people to work that are uh, for better rates than they can in California because they basically they actually can be a union made X rated film and, and they don't have to do the unions in Nevada, which means the cost of production will be cheaper. And the Syrian community rebuilt St. Mary's in Tarzana after fire. I know, it's just, uh, you know, the churches for some reason burn God awful easy. I never could understand that. Oh, I don't know, because they have candles? Cause they have, I well, don't no, know. It, it doesn't make any difference. It's just a, can't, a church for some reason is more flammable than, a, than an ordinary business. Even if it's a brand really? new church, they burn real easy. A Montana man killed by grizzlies. I know. There seems to be an awful lot of grizzly deaths at the moment. But I, I don't understand because... First of all, you should, you should know better than to go to. The thing is, eight foot tall for Christ's sake, and weighs about a half a ton. You go to, you, you stay away from one of them. They also move like express trains. 
Mm, and voting machines, why we'll never trust them. Uh, I hate to tell people, but they've been using voting machines for over a century. That it, and, and, and it basically, when you have great big um, ballots, like 10 pages and 139 languages, you have to have a voting machine in order to make it work. You can't mm -hmm. go through it by, and, you know, you can't lift a hundred, okay, figure, 139 languages the ballot is in, and that means, uh, you know, roughly you have uh, 10 times 139, 1,400 pages of material for every person to go through. It'd be a whole lot easier if it was only in English. Yeah, but that, that well, just because our, our law said you have to be able to speak the language to vote doesn't mean that under the Obama administration or the Democrats that's ever enforced. And from exit polls to voter tallies, how networks project who wins? Well, actually, they're, they're, they're basically using, okay, if they prefer Obama, they use districts that basically support Obama. If they support Romney, they use districts to support Romney, and that's how they predict the winner. I mean, okay, this election was not supposed to be over in three hours. This was an election that was supposed to go on for days, and it ended in three hours? I mean, uh, was it, uh, one of the guys said, he said, I, you know, I told my wife and children I wouldn't be home, and they went on, they went away for a couple of days, and now I have to call my wife and children and tell them you're going to have to cancel the trip because I'll be back tonight at my regular time. So <laughs> that the, you know, it was a bad election because the, they said this is good. Obama lost 10 million votes from the last election, but the problem was is that uh oh. You know what Herbie Daddy said, the real reason why they lost, the Republicans lost? They lost three and a half million conservative votes. Uh. Because they, they, a Massachusetts liberal Republican is a moderate Democrat, folks. The same as a moderate Democrat in the South is a Republican. And state Supreme Court wants Arizona donors audited. That ain't going to happen. Because it's, uh, the, the court wants de um, Republican, Republicans audited and the Democratic unions aren't. So it's, they'll, they'll lose it when it gets to the, that basically, how can it be that the Republicans have to be audited, their PACs have to be audited, but the Democratic PACs, because their unions don't have to be audited. That's like they're, they're cheering in California because they, the, a law didn't pass that basically gave businesses the same rights as unions on contributions. So that they said it's sort of irrelevant because the Supreme Court has already said that businesses have the same right as unions and California has been ignoring, okay, if you're a Democrat, you don't like the law, you just simply ignore the law. And policies, not skin color. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it has to do with the skin color of Obama. If Obama was white, he would not have ever been nominated. Mm -hmm. It's that simple thing. I mean, I heard a person yesterday talking about it and he said, for Jesus Christ, I'm an, I'm, an, he said, I'm an Indian Indian. If I can't say that this was all racist, then who the hell can say it was a racist election, folks? Mm -hmm. But they were clear, you can't say that about this president. In SoCal, Edison crew is hauling toxic waste from nuclear power plant on freeways. Uh, just there is no other place to haul it on. Most, uh, most roads do not have, go completely through in the state of California, and you have to pull onto a highway. That's the way it is. The same as if you, you know, there are no trains to a lot of the places. And Google's Android software in three out of four smartphones. Yeah, you know, the other one being the, um, the, actually, they said Windows was very happy with that thing because that meant the other smartphone is Windows now. Oh. And they said that before they were had no existence, now one quarter of all of the smartphones out there have a Windows base. One quarter already? Yep. Wow, they said they that's know kind of that surprising. That, they said they know that some moron over at Google made a mistake. <laughs> they, they know that because, makes Microsoft happy. Yeah, I mean, Microsoft was able to go out with that announcement that the Google has now stated that one quarter of all smartphones out there have our operating system, which they don't. And next, Bush makes campaign filing in Texas. Okay, the Latin son of George of uh, George Bush Jr. I mean, uh, 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 Jeb Bush is now getting ready to run for public office. They don't know what, but they have to file the intent to run things within 30 days of the last election, which means you look like, anybody want to guess that we have a 30, a 30, currently 33-year-old Latin American that looks Latin, is good-looking, 
also has a Latin wife, speaks Latin fluently, is going to be the next nominee for the presidency of the United States for the Republican Party. Mm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain and the Animal Kingdom. The difficult is easy to do. The hard thing is the simple. 